tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the program Notepad++ to directly edit files on your Raspberry Pi. This is super helpful, uh, makes editing files like Python files or text files uh, much easier um, to do remotely, say from your PC um, on your Raspberry Pi. So to set up Notepad++, the first thing we're going to do is install the FTP plugin. Uh, so Notepad++ Notepad++ comes with a lot of uh, really powerful plugins that make it easier to uh, do a number of different things with text documents. We go into, we click on plugins, and we go to plugin manager. We'll click on show plugin manager, and in there we've got, we'll highlight NFT, NF, NPP FTP. That's N as in November, P as in Papa, P as in Papa file transfer protocol, NPPFTP. So if we click on that, um, we'll have, we have a long list of different plugins that are for Notepad++, but this is the one we're looking for. Click on that and click install. We'll be advised about update, and we'll click yes, sounds good, and we'll run the update. Ask us to restart, so we will. And we're back. We restarted Notepad++, and we should have the option to install. NPPFTP. Click on that again. We'll click Install. We'll see that it'll download uh, the the plugin and it'll start to install it. Okay, we'll go ahead and restart it. And we're back again. So let's go back just one more time to plugins. And now we can see we have, when we click on plugins, we've got NPP FTP here. So if we go ahead, what we'll do is, uh, just to start it up, we'll run NPPFTP and we'll go to show NPPFTP window. And when we pull that up, it may come a little bit uh, distorted here, but if we drag this down, we should be able to see a couple of important windows just popped up. This will be our dialog window down here. And this is going to do the, t this is going to show us how the, um, uh, the PC and the Raspberry Pi are talking. Up here we'll see these in just a second when we connect, but if we click this con uh, connect or disconnect button, the plug up here, we'll go ahead and see a couple of different options that I've got from previous projects, but I've got dex.local. So let's go ahead, we'll go to um, profile settings here. If I click on that and I click on dex.local, I can see I've got all my profile information in uh, here. If I, I've got, um, I can add them by clicking on add new. Um, and I've entered in the host name, dex.local is the host name. The connection type is going to be SFTP. We'll be connecting over port 22. We'll be connecting using username PI, PI, and then the password is the standard password. That's robots1234. You can add a couple other options in here, but this is pretty much all you need to get going. Now that we've set up the dex.local uh, profile, it's pretty easy to connect. We just find the profile that we're looking for here with the connect button up here in the upper hand corner. We click dex.local and we'll see some dialogue down here about um, trying to connect with the uh, Raspberry Pi. And there we go. We've got connect, we successfully authenticated and we've connected. So now we can look into the Raspberry Pi file directory here and see what we've got. Um, it automatically goes to the home backslash pi directory on the Raspberry Pi and we can start to see all the different um, files that are in that directory. So let's say I want to, if I want to say edit uh, any one of these files, I can do that. Um, we'll go to this hello raspberry pi text. If I double click on that, I should see some action going on here and start to download it. And there we go. We've got the, this is a file. Uh, on the Raspberry Pi. I can close that or open a different one. Let's see if we can find hello raspberry pi.txt. That might look a little bit better. There we go. 
I can go ahead and um, edit that a little bit. Got a couple lines, but I'll add a few more. And then if I click save, we'll see some action going on down here, and we'll see some action. I'll put this a little bit of action in here about what's going on. But we've successfully saved it. So if I, I can close both or close that file um, up again, and um, if I reopen the file the same way, or the new um, modifications. So if I want to do that, there are a couple other things that I can do. That's pretty easy to go ahead and pick up a file that's on your Raspberry Pi and to modify it. But also, if I right click over here, I have a couple options. I can create a new directory here. This is very similar to FTP. Um, using FileZilla. See that in a different video that we've done. But you can create a new directory, you can create a new file. We can do a little bit of other, a couple other things, including rename and deleting directories and files here. Um, if I click on a specific package, I can download this file. So if I want to save it from my Raspberry Pi into my um, uh, local PC, I can do that. Um, I can sit, rename the file, save it, I can delete it. Sort of have all these options just like you do with a regular file. Uh, file uh, system. So why don't I just show you real quick, we'll go ahead and create one more, uh, create a new file. I've got this selected, so that's why my options are showing up there. So let's see if I can get, we go back up to the, click on the directory pi. If I right click on that directory, I can create a new file. Get a little dialog here that says create file name. We'll just call it uh, raspberry underscore dex dot txt. We should see a file show up in the directory. It'll automatically refresh. You might see that down here go by. And we'll look for that. Here we go. Here's that text file we just created. So if I double click on that, should be empty, but just type hello dex, and then I hit go ahead and just save it. And it saw again some of the dialogue flash by, and we'll close it. Just go check and see if we can get to that rest dex, raspberry dex.txt. We double click that, we saw a little action here as it downloads it, and there's our file. So that's how you can open and uh, change and move around and create new files on your Raspberry Pi using Notepad++ and the NPPFTP plugin.